Mortimer's Hole, the Oubliette, where Edward III once threw his wife and her lover and their child, left in there to starve to death. That is some f***ed up shit. The Arch and Alcove. A typical architectural style and it does not take much of an imagination to think back to days gone by when this would have been used precisely for what it is used for now. Absolutely sweet <laughs> The medieval ashtrays, the archetypal feature outside any castle of when the soldiers used to smoke not having sand, obviously, as it being a rare commodity in those days, they instead decided to use soil. It is sea and lunacy on two counts there. Firstly, why would one feel the need to substitute sand with soil? And secondly, why would one feel the need to have ashtrays 400 years prior to the arrival of tobacco in the new world? Total The gatehouse, a marvellous feature, something to tell the invaded forces. These are our walls, they are thick, they are strong, and you will never enter our castle. Naturally, they paid a lot of attention to the security of the castle. One thing, though, had they given that much forethought to it, was that the invading th forces evidently wouldn't notice the big f***ing gate around the side. The Bridlesmith Gate, the poignant passage through which people would have come and traded. Why was it called Bridlesmith? Nobody knows, but it probably had something to do with, I don't know, horses and shit. Imagine the marketplace, a person arrested, beaten, battered, sentenced to death for stealing nothing more than an apple. Serves the f right.